My guest today is Avi Loeb, astrophysicist and professor of science at Harvard University, who discovered the earliest known object from another solar system to hit Earth. Over the past five years, we discovered the first three interstellar objects. How important is it for academia to actually be involved in the search for ET? Well, first, let me explain. Uh, I search for intelligence from space because I don't often find it here on Earth. And that includes, uh, in the academic world, um, there seem to be a hesitance in engaging with this subject. And uh, I find that inappropriate, given that the public is extremely interested in the question of whether there is a smarter kid on our cosmic block. And also, we know now that about a quarter of the sun-like stars have a planet the size of the Earth, roughly at the same separation. So the dice of intelligence was rolled tens of billions of times within the Milky Way galaxy alone. It's quite likely that there was a scientist smarter than Albert Einstein who lived on an exoplanet a billion years ago. And the civilization that benefited from the wisdom of that scientist, sent probes. Within half a billion years, these probes can make it throughout the Milky Way galaxy, even if they use chemical propulsion. And then they would settle in the habitable zones near stars. They can replicate themselves. And the only way to find out if we live in such a reality is to look out. So it sounds straightforward. Then on top of that, over the past five years, we discovered the first three interstellar objects. And that was using astronomical instrumentation. And the first two appear to be weird. It's a meteor discovered in 2014, tougher than iron, faster than 95% of all the stars. And we would like to collect its fragments uh, because it could be artificial in origin. And the second was Oumuamua, discovered in 2017, also didn't look like a comet or an asteroid, was flat, had a weird shape. And so my point is, nature is trying to tell us something. What's going out outside of the solar system is different than what we expect. It's just like going to your backyard. You're used to seeing rocks, but every now and then you might see a tennis ball or a, a, a beach ball. Uh, that came from a neighbor. And that will tell you that you're not alone on this street. So we should be open-minded. Now, you may ask, why is academia not jumping at the opportunity to study these things? And the answer is, experts want to pretend that they know anything that comes along based on their past knowledge, because they get their honors, awards, recognition, their self-esteem out of their past knowledge. They worked hard for decades acquiring the status in the academic community that they have. And so if they're used to explaining everything in the sky, everything in space as rocks made by nature, then when an object comes from outside the solar system, they would say, it's a rock. To me, it's just like a cave dweller finding a cell phone. The cave dweller would say, it's a rock of a type that I've never seen before, but it's a rock. But the more evidence you get, the more convinced you will get that it's not natural. In your book, Extraterrestrial, which uh, is an incredible read, I have personally, as you know, read this probably 50 times. And every time I finish the book, I just flip it over and start over again. There must have been, for somebody like you, a certain amount of pushback from, from academia. How did you deal with that? Between 2011 and 2020, for nine years, I was the longest serving chair of the Harvard University Astronomy Department. And um, I also chaired the board on physics and astronomy of the National Academies. Uh, I'm uh, still the chair of the Starshot Initiative of the Breakthrough Foundation. Um, and um, I'm also the director of the Institute for Theory and Comput Computation and the founding director of the Black Hole Initiative. Now, all of these leadership positions gave me the confidence that allows me not to pay too much attention to what other people say, but simply do the right thing based on common sense.